We're now going to look at editing some blocks that we've already placed in our space planning drawing. Now, you know the drill. I've got editing blocks complete open. If you want to follow along with the video, you need to open up editingblocks.dwg. Now, you should know that drill by now. Always use the drawing without the complete suffix from your working files. We're still in the ground floor. I'm going to zoom in on the workstation block there that I created by nesting those two blocks together. So there's the workstation block there. Now, what I can do is I can utilize a wonderful tool in AutoCAD called the Block Editor. So if I now go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, there's the Block Definition panel, and there's Block Editor right there. Now, the lovely thing is, as soon as I click on it, it goes, hang on a minute, there's loads of blocks in the drawing. Which one do I want to edit? Now, if I scroll down, there's my SP, Space Planning Ones, and I want Workstation 1. I click on OK and that will open up the block editor. Now you'll notice the screen changes and the ribbon changes, and also you get this palette here, the block authoring palette. Now that's for dynamic blocks. Now you don't need to worry about your dynamic blocks at the moment. We're not gonna use those for space planning purposes. We might utilize the occasional dynamic block for perhaps desks and chairs and things. Now you'll notice these are actually blocks, so if I click on that block here, what happens to it in the block editor? Well, you can see there that there's lots of different parameters and actions in that block because it was originally a dynamic block. So what I can do here, I can click on this grip here, for example, and I can actually rotate my chair. So if I rotate that chair to about there and take it to that corner there, can you see it updates within the block? And then I can click on the grip and maybe move that chair up a little bit as well, like that. Now I'm gonna hit escape there now, and do the same with this one, and click here, and bring that round to there. And then I'm also going to click on the grip and just move that away slightly, like that, and hit escape to deselect. Now I've updated the contents of that block, which is my workstation block. Now that's all I've done. I've just updated using some of the grips and the parameters. What I need to do now is save that block and come out of the block editor. So I go up to save block here. That will save that particular block. And you can see that at the bottom there, B save, block save. And then I close the block editor. Now, as soon as I do that, can you see what happens here? You can see that the chairs have moved and have actually rotated and updated as per what I did in the block editor. Now, you can do that with any block. Now you'll notice here, I've got a room description, RM003, and it's an office and it's the reception area. I can also go into the block editor again and select one of those. So if I go SP room and click on OK, that'll just open up and show me those attributes that I used to actually create that block for the room descriptions. Now I could change the text height or perhaps even the font. But I don't need to in this case, so I can actually close the block editor. I don't need to make any changes. But you could edit any block that you're using for your space planning by using that particular function, the block editor function on the block definition panel on the insert tab on the ribbon.